July 1, 2025. A streak of icy rock from beyond the solar system is spotted. Quiet, unremarkable, until now. Against every prediction, scientists racing against the glare of the sun have just captured three I slash Atlas erupting, sprouting a colossal tail of dust and gas right before our eyes. This shouldn't be happening, or at least not like this. Is this interstellar wanderer a cosmic Rosetta Stone? Or is some familiar process playing tricks on us with an eight-week window to decide? The clock is ticking, and the answer could shake our understanding of what truly arrives from the stars. Avi Loeb, the Harvard astrophysicist who once set the world buzzing over Oumuamua, is back on the circuit, this time with a challenge that's got astronomers scrambling for every spare second of telescope time. His question is as bold as ever. Is 3i slash Atlas just another frozen relic, or does its tail hide evidence of something that rewrites the rules? The window to answer is closing fast. By late September, the comet will slip too close to the sun's glare for any ground-based observatory to track its tail or dissect its light. That's not just a scheduling headache, it's a scientific cliff edge. Every major facility, Gemini South, Hubble, even the James Webb Space Telescope, is squeezing in last-minute proposals, negotiating for minutes, not hours, before the cutoff. The Gemini South team, led by Karen Meech, calls the next few weeks a once-in-a-lifetime shot. After that, 3i slash Atlas will vanish behind the sun, and by the time it re-emerges in December, the show will be over. The stakes are clear. Miss this window, and the trail goes cold forever. Either the comet's tail will confirm that planetary systems across the galaxy are all built from the same cosmic recipe, or it will force scientists to rethink what can survive a journey between the stars. The clock isn't just ticking, it's roaring, and nobody wants to be the one left staring at a blank patch of sky when it runs out. July 1, 2025. The Atlas survey in Chile logs a faint, fast-moving speck at the edge of its nightly sweep. A new object barreling in from deep space at over 200,000 kilometers per hour. Within hours, orbital calculations point to a hyperbolic trajectory, not just a visitor, but an interstellar one. The Minor Planet Center assigns it a name that says it all. 3. I slash Atlas, the third interstellar object ever confirmed. But the story doesn't start there. Hidden in the archives, survey teams dig up an earlier frame from June 14th. Even then, 3EI slash Atlas was already drifting through the outer solar system, all but invisible, its activity barely a whisper. The pace quickens. By mid-July, Hubble snaps a set of images, faint, broad, a hint of something trailing behind, but nothing like the drama to come. Competing observatories scramble for a slot. Gemini South's Karen Meech, a veteran of cometary firsts, pulls together a team for a crucial window in late August. Students from the Shadow the Scientists program are patched in live, their screens flickering with raw data as the comet crosses the southern sky. August 27, 2025. The Gemini South Telescope captures a tail that wasn't there before, now stretching 56,000 kilometers, a streak of dust and gas lit by the sun, spanning half a pinky's width at arm's length. Meech calls it a scientific milestone, a moment where discovery is shared in real time. In chat logs, Students type out the obvious. We're watching the tail form right now. The documented timeline is locked. Discovery, archival proof, a scramble for time, and finally, the tail's dramatic debut. Every step, a new layer of evidence, every date, another piece of the puzzle. Four pillars now hold up the case for 3i slash Atlas as a cosmic rule breaker. First, the orbit. 3i slash Atlas isn't just passing through, it's on a hyperbolic path inbound from interstellar space, moving too fast for the sun to ever pull it back. That's a one-way ticket, and only two other objects have ever been caught doing the same. Second, the tail. As of late August, Gemini South measured it at 56,000 kilometers, long enough to wrap around Earth four times. That kind of rapid growth in just a few weeks is rare even among homegrown comets. Third, the chemistry. JWST's Chi NIR spec caught the comet's light on August 6th and found something wild. The gas pouring off 3 thin I slash Atlas is dominated by carbon dioxide, not water. The CO2 to H2O ratio clocks in at nearly 8 to 1. 
For comparison, most solar system comets barely break one to one, and even Borisov, the last interstellar visitor, topped out at 0.35. Fourth, the spectral match. Across the infrared, the fingerprint lines up with a class of CO2-rich, water-poor objects, Tagish Lake meteorite analogs, and a handful of rare Oort cloud outliers. But nothing in the solar system shows this exact blend. Each of these pillars, trajectory, tail, chemistry, spectral match, raises the same question. What kind of object can look so familiar, yet refuse to fit the mold? Oxford's Chris Lint isn't buying the hype. To him, the brightness spike and fast-growing tail look less like a cosmic mystery, more like textbook comet physics. Lint points to the data pouring in from Gemini South and Hubble. The tail's explosive growth lines up perfectly with the comet's plunge toward the sun, not some hidden engine or alien artifact. He argues that what some call an anomaly is just the natural result of sunlight hitting fresh, volatile, rich ice, carbon dioxide mostly, on a nucleus that's never seen our star before. Lint's camp leans on the classic dust jet model. As the nucleus rotates, jets of gas and dust burst outward, sculpting the coma and tail. If the nucleus spins every few hours, brightness should pulse in sync, but photometric runs so far haven't locked down a solid rotation period. No seven-hour cycle, no clockwork outburst. Then there's the chemistry. While 2i Borisov showed strong cyanogen and carbon-2 bands, classic comet fingerprints, early spectra from 3. I Atlas are almost silent in those lines. Lint calls this a sign of ordinary ice, not something exotic. But even he admits, the numbers are thin and the window to gather more is closing. As the debate sharpens, the only certainty is that 3i Atlas refuses to play by any single rulebook. Three interstellar visitors, three different stories. Oumuamua, back in 2017, slipped through the solar system without so much as a wisp of gas or dust. A cosmic ghost, no tail, no coma, just questions. Two years later, Borisov rewrote the playbook. It arrived with a classic cometary display, a bright coma, a dust tail, cyanogen, and C, two bands lighting up its spectrum. Textbook chemistry, textbook behavior. Now, 3i slash Atlas walks a line between the two. For weeks after discovery, it barely stirred. Then, as August closed, its tail erupted, stretching 56,000 kilometers in a matter of days. The chemistry, too, is off script. CO2 dominates, water barely registers, and familiar comet fingerprints are missing or faint. Each object has forced astronomers to rethink what an interstellar comet should look like. The pattern is clear. No two visitors play by the same rules, and the next few weeks may be the last chance to catch this one in the act. JWST's shot at 3, I slash A, T L A S lands in mid-October. One narrow slot, just before the comet vanishes into solar conjunction. If the weather holds, if the spacecraft's schedule doesn't slip, this will be the only time humanity gets to probe the chemistry of a fresh interstellar tail at its brightest. After that, the comet disappears behind the sun for nearly two months. By December, it will be back in the sky, but fainter, its tail already fading as it races out of the solar system for good. No do-overs, no second chances. So here's the question. Is 3i slash A, T, L, A, S just another chunk of cosmic ice? Or is it carrying a message from somewhere far beyond? Pause and cast your vote. Type ordinary if you think it's just a comet, messenger if you think there's something more. Your call, your theory. The universe doesn't wait. On August 27, 2025, Gemini South captured the first clear image of 3 i slash Atlas's 56,000 kilometer tail, confirming that this interstellar object behaves unlike any comet previously observed in our solar system. The documented carbon dioxide to water ratio of 8 to 1, verified by JWSTNIR spec, stands far outside the norms for solar system comets and challenges existing models of cometary chemistry. While some experts, like Avi Loeb, suggest this could rewrite our understanding of planetary systems, critics such as Chris Lint urge caution, pointing to alternative explanations and the limits of current data. With just one confirmed JWST observation window, the scientific community faces a rare closing opportunity. The facts are clear. 3i slash Atlas is real, its tail is growing, 
and its chemistry is unprecedented. But how it fits into the story of interstellar visitors is still an open question.